This week we'll be going over all of the achievements in Sludge Life. Now, the game has 14 achievements, and it takes an average of about 4 hours to complete. And as for what it's worth over on achievement hunting websites, it's currently worth 4 points over on ASTATS, 987 on Steam Hunters, and 3733 over on Metagamerscore. And now, let's get to hunting. This game is very much one that you can just run around and do whatever you want without missing any achievements. One thing to note is that you won't be able to get any achievements until you have the to-do list app, but we'll get into where you can find that shortly. So starting out, we'll go through and get off and on again for resetting every warp station. Right outside of the starting area on the dock, you have this station here and can see all of the available warp stations. That means you'll need to find each of these on the map and use them to activate them. I'll show the general locations of them so you can see where they are, but there are going to be 11 of them on the map and they'll allow you to fast travel between them once they're unlocked. So, of course, we have the docks where we started out. Then there's the hangar in this large, well, hangar. The controller will be over here. Then we have Gen Pop right over here. Stacker 2 will be right over here. You'll have to climb up this tower of things that are stacked. From up here, you can then head out to Chemico 1 over here. Then right over here, we have Chemico 2. Moving on this way, we have Glug Tower by the large Glug statue. Then right over here we have comms. And over here we have stacker 1 which is just like stacker 2, it's stacked way up on top of a tower. This one is one of the harder ones to get up to. Now since we need the to-do list in order to get any of the achievements, we're going to go ahead and get fill up the deck for getting and installing all of the apps on your computer that allows you to control the game. Sat view will be in the comms building sitting on a table. Siggy you'll get the first time you pick up a pack of cigarettes. The to-do list app you'll get in Glug Tower, just go up to the offices and it's going to be sitting in one of the desks. Then the Worm Machine app will be in the Chemico building on the second floor sitting on the desk. The Crypt Creeper game is going to be in the apartment complex over in the Gen Pop area. It'll be sitting on the counter in the room at 201. Life Loop will be from the first time that you die in some way. And the Big Mud app is going to be in this shipping container here. It'll be in the back, sitting in a trash can, kind of hidden away. Now since we got the Siggy app, we can go ahead and get tribute to Siggy for smoking 20 Siggies. 
Just keep on picking up packs as you go throughout the game, and then at some point sit down somewhere nice and quiet like the basketball court, and hit C to smoke. You'll have to do it this way for it to count, then get 20 down, and you'll get this achievement. Now since we're on the basketball court, we might as well get trash play for shooting a basketball into the trash can. While you're on the basketball court, you can look at the hoop and get a basketball to spawn into your hands, then just shoot it into the nearby trash can for this one. For Dream, you'll need to steal the diamonds. This can be done by going over to the Glug Tower and then dropping down here. Then climb through the vent and run all the way back up here and up the stairs to the right. Then continue up these stairs to this office area and you can take the elevator up to the main office up here. Under the desk, you can hit a button to reveal a hidden staircase behind a bookshelf. Head up there into the suite and over to the left, you'll find the diamonds sitting on the table. Just a quick reminder here, you won't get achievements in this game until you do the thing required and then open up the to-do list app. Tedious, I know, but at least you don't have to go that far out of your way for it. Now we'll go ahead and get big pockets for getting all of the items. There are four items needed for this, the first being the camera. This can be found near the docks, just come here and over to this bridge and grab the camera from here. Then the next one is the glider, you can get that from the hangar, just head up the ladder up to the top and go out to the roof to pick it up where this guy is. For the third one we have the warper, you'll go into Chemico 2 and then over to the right side of the Chemico building and go into the vent. It'll open up to the Warper Testing Lab and you can pick it up. The fourth and last item is going to be the Vandalize, which you can get from under Glug Tower. Go there and drop down here, then sitting inside of this shipping container is the King and the Vandalize on a table. For Piss from Above, you're going to need to urinate from the top of Glug Tower. If you go up into Glug Tower's main office, then you can go over to the left and through this door to go up to the very top of the tower. Then, once up the ladder, you can turn around from the ship and hop onto the ledge where you'll automatically start peeing, and you can mark your territory in Sludge Down. Now that we're up here, we can also get the good ending for finding a way out. At the top of the Glug Tower, which of course is from you dropping down below, going through the vent, then up the stairs up to the office area, then up the elevator into the main office, hit the button under the desk to open the hidden staircase to the suite, take a left and go through the door ahead, and use the warper to hit the button for this door and then teleport past the cameras. Go up the ladder, and then you can finally go up to this ship and hop in for the good ending. Then we'll move on to zoom head for hitting every zoom spot. These are basically just little mushrooms that you can take to no clip and fly around until you hit escape to come back to your body. The first location is going to be near Gen Pop in the apartments. Go to room 206 and go to the very back into this little hidden area for the first one. The second will be near the hangar, just go into the door and it'll be sitting in the locker over here. The third will be near comms, just go over to the left of the comms building and this one will be sitting on a rock. For the bad ending, you'll need to get the bad ending. You'll go over to Chemico 1 and go to the fenced off area behind you, Climb up to the top of the building and go down this little hallway area where you can drop inside and proceed through. Go down in here and drop all the way down until you reach this laser puzzle. Just drop an item out like your laptop to block the bottom laser and then you can crouch down underneath the rest. Head on through to the big bomb and push the button on the side. And then you'll get a little cutscene type thing where the game breaks. And just make sure that you choose to recover your corrupted save at the end. Then for Kiss My Eggs, you're going to need to smooch some eggs. In order to do this, you're going to go into your settings and turn on vegan mode. Then you'll need to climb up to this tower near the controller area. Once you get up to the top, you can climb up this pipe and drop down to this roof area where some eggs are sitting. As long as you're in vegan mode, you can interact with them, which counts as giving them a smooch. Next, we'll go over Creepin' for killing the boss in Crypt Creeper. The game is pretty simple, you're basically just doing math to make sure that you survive each level as you move towards the exit, and then at level 20, you'll end it by fighting the boss. As for tips for this minigame, you'll basically just want to make sure that you're taking out enemies as you go, but make sure that you're able to pick up a weapon and shield to defend yourself going into each new level. 
You want to be able to have the experience points to buy the upgrades from this guy, and that'll allow you to have a much better chance at surviving and beating the boss at level 20. Now the only thing cooler than being a Crypt Creeper Master is being a Pandalax sub. So make sure that you like the video, subscribe, and if you're feeling really cool, become a channel member and help support the creation of future guides. Binge is for eating 20 slugs in one session. In order to do this, you're going to need to not be in vegan mode. So then, once you're no longer a vegan, go into the game and we'll go through the locations of all 20 slugs. So the first one will be above your starting area, near the docks. Just climb up around and grab it from back here. Or eat it, I guess. Then the second will be around here past the control area and up on top of this large tower. Climb up there and it'll be sitting on the back of the pipe right here. A side note, using the warper is going to help speed things up like this greatly if you do put your warp spot back on top of a tall area like up on top of this tower. So then the third you can get to by just gliding over here to this large yellow vent thing. This one will be back here. For the fourth, we can warp back over to the top and glide over to the burger place, or run there, whichever. Go inside and climb up to the top of the burger mascot, and you can jump over to the roof and then to the billboard to grab this one. The fifth will be on the balcony out back of the burger place, sitting on the railing. The sixth will be down in the sludge, sitting on these rocks. Number 7 is also close by, over at the apartment building. Head over there and jump over to this balcony on the right to grab this one. 8 will be in room 106 on the side of the fridge. Then number 9 is going to be on the other side of the apartment area, near where the laundry is. Head to the left and this one is behind the dumpster. Number 10 is over near Chemical 1. To the right of the fast travel point, this slug will be on the green barrel. Number 11 will also be by Chemico 1. Behind you, over where the bad ending is, you can go down into the tunnel below and grab this slug from on this red barrel. Then when we leave there, we can go towards number 12 by going out this way. And go into the vent that leads to where you find the warper. This slug will be sitting inside the vent. Number 13 is right next to Chemico 2, sitting on these pipes. Then number 14 is also near Chemico 2. Just turn around and go on this launcher thing and go to the right side. This slug is up here. Number 15 will be near Chemico 2. Basically when you warp there, go to the left and behind you a bit is this blue shipping container and this slug is sitting underneath. Number 16 is around this area from 15 all the way to this rock out in the sludge. 17 is going to be back near the Chemico 2 area, but under this car park looking structure that is below Glug Tower. It'll be sitting here underneath at one of these pillars. Then if you go past that and up towards the calm area, we can get number 18. Climb up this structure here and this slug is going to be sitting up on top. Nineteen will be nearby, so just jump down over here and grab this slug from behind this structure. And finally, number twenty, the last slug, is going to be over near Stacker 1. Go there, and then climb down to this area to find this one. Then for the last one, we have the weird ending, which you'll need to first get the Vandal Eyes item, then go through and do all 100 of the graffiti tag spots, and then finally return to the container with the king where you got the vandalized in the first place to have the weird ending revealed. Now I might make a video showing the locations of all 100 of these tag spots if you guys want, let me know in the comments, but they do make it super easy to find them because if you hold the vandalize out, they'll look towards the nearest tag spot. So then you can just keep on using those to find the next spots and hit all the graffiti tags. Now, once you do get to some of the combo ones, it can get a little bit buggy, so if that happens and the eyes are taking you to the same spot without updating after you completed one of the tags, you may just have to close out of the game and reopen it to get that fixed. And with that, we have 100% of the achievements in Sludge Life. Now, if you like achievement hunting, you should check out my playlist here for all of the games that I made 100% guides for last year.